welcome to War Table Gaming and Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Caleb Bryan, also known as Wimpy Warrior. I am so excited to talk about some new things that I'm working on and all that stuff. You saw the graphic of the War Table uh, gaming stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about more, but also this is going to be a new video. We're going to get into, because summer gaming is a huge thing, so we're going to get into just events. And this is what I'm going to call it, gaming investigation, where we're going to investigate certain things, like certain events, like what I'm going to talk about today. And we're going to get deep dive, maybe have a little bit discussion and all this and speculation and figure out what this one event told us about the gaming world. Destiny 2. Destiny 2, Bungie was uh, really excited to announce a amazing uh, press, uh, press release uh, of information and all that stuff. It, they talked about a uh, big video podcast kind of look and, and it was really interesting to see this press conference. It was really nice. It was all very beautiful. And then we got into... Uh, what is going on in this in, in this world right now? We we got a really beautiful uh, eight minute count of, of of George Floyd, and so that was very beautiful that Bungie was able to do that and and really tell their voice and all that stuff. So that's really great. And then we got into Destiny Two, and so Destiny Two is coming back in a in a in a different way, and I'm really excited to talk about it. So let's talk about it. Destiny 2. Uh, first, they came, Bungie came in and talked about how COVID-19 is really affecting them and all that stuff. And, but they're still going to do it. And so Season of Arrival just arrived actually today. Um, so I played it uh, two hours with it. And it's really fun. But it's also a prelude to what's coming in 2020. September 22nd, 2020, we're going to get our first expansion of Destiny 2. No Destiny 3, no anything. We're going to keep going on Destiny 2. And that's really exciting to see Bungie really committing to the next gen, but also committing into what Destiny is and what they uh, love in Destiny. Now that they're gone from Activision, they're able to do one step forward into their Destiny campaign. And maybe we can actually see some really cool stories and maybe we'll finally see some new races. Who knows? But like, I'm really excited to see what Destiny is going to do. So let's get started by first talking about Destiny 2 Beyond Light, the new expansion that's coming out September 22nd, uh, 2020. Uh, the is the next expansion for Destiny 2 will be released on uh, uh, will be released and will allow players to veneer to Europa. Uh, a new planet, a new place, Europa, the, the snow planet by Ju uh, moon of Jupiter. Um, really excited to see uh, Guardians will be able to brave the unrelenting glacial frontier, infiltrate the golden age of Bray Tech facility and uncover the secrets that lie deep under the ancient ice. Really exciting to see this. I'm really excited to to get into um, a lot of what Destiny 2 and, and Destiny really got me involved is I love the lore. I love how they took it from 2015 and they took all of that. I think with, actually it might be 2013, but they took all of that and said, hey, we're going to make this new world. Bungie left uh, uh, Halo and now 343 has Halo. So Bungie knows space and it was so interesting to see how Destiny really worked it, it it worked it was so much fun but it it had a really short story but it very interesting story and then we get into the stranger and we know things we start seeing expansions we start seeing all of that stuff and we're like wow this is really fun and then when destiny 2 hit campaign all the way and the cabal and all of that stuff and the traveler and i'm not going to tell you most a lot of the destiny 2 because you should play it but then they got into really what they were supposed to be. They were an MMO. They're they're this, but they are Bungie working on an awesome game that's evolving. Is is keep 
on working, you know? And yeah, they made some mistakes in the end. They made the AI weird and all that stuff. But they're fixing that. And that's what's so interesting about Destiny that I'm really excited to see and go back to Destiny because I, I walked away from it. I walked away from it after understanding, okay, I finished it. I platinum it. We're done. But this is so interesting about what Destiny 2 is doing is that Bungie is kind of going back to, hey, we don't care anymore. We're going to make the best evolving world ever. And so that's what they did. They they made a they made an event. They made a little event like Fortnite where where a live event they saw something crash into the planet, the Cabal ship, and it's so interesting. And we're finally gonna get some some I don't know lore that we've talked about the darkness since Destiny One, but it's like where is the darkness? So seeing that uh, Shadow Keep and Forsaken and all that stuff. Now we're getting into the the Year of Darkness, and so it's really interesting to see that Destiny Two Beyond Light is coming out, and it's going to be amazing to see uh, what's going to happen with that in a snowy planet, in a in, in a really awesome area. Guardians will be able to wield a mysterious new power called stasis which is really awesome to see that we're finally getting another power after void walker and and all of the other powers there's only three let's put another one stasis uh which is a new elemental power will join arc solar and void and give titans warlocks and hunters new ways to play so it's so interesting to go into destiny 2 and go okay they're 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 listening to us. They're listening to us, which is so awesome to to, to hear. Uh, a new six person raid, which takes place in Deepstone Crypt below the frozen tundra of Europa, will also challenge players. I I have not found a six person raid before. I have never done it before. If you if you know in the comments or whatever, if you guys want to join the war table uh raid and all that stuff that that'd be fun i i don't really have that many people to play on playstation uh beyond light we'll also see the rise of aramis which is a group of splintered houses of the fallen that rallied together on europa under the banner of the fallen kel of darkness aramis aramis so that this is interesting we're getting into more darkness we're getting into more uh fun looking uh, situations and, and stuff and and then and then which I was so excited about Bungie says oh what we're we gonna do in the future what in the future what what's going on and they've announced all three of their their uh, expansions one the Bungie teased the witch queen which you, it also teases a little bit um if you play season of arrival please play it it's so much fun uh the Witch Queen and Lightfall. And so 2021 is going to be with the Witch King, Queen, Witch Queen, which is also the sister of Oryx, the Fallen King. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works and all that stuff. And then and then 2022, Lightfall, which is kind of good. They kind of said it was going to be kind of like a, like a, let's put them all together. Let's put all of these things together, which is makes it look like it's the end game for destiny too so it's really interesting to see what's going on so uh it's really I, i'm excited i am so excited to see the darkness coming back all of this stuff with the 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 the, the secrets of of the darkness and and is the darkness a new race who knows we we don't know but i want a new race i want new locations i want all of that stuff so let us begin with this uh, speculation. My speculation is that it might be we finally get a new race. I hope we get a new race because the problem with the enemies is that Fallen, Hive, and uh, Vex are three enemies, three enemy types, and they all <laughs> play the same and they all of that stuff. It's great that happens. And then the Taken was great. But the taking was taking from them. So it's like, 
come on, let's get the fallen, let's get the vex, let's let's not go there. Now let's go to somewhere new. I would love to fight the X Exo. Like that'd be interesting. What if the Exo were villains or whatever? Or what about the? I mean, the Awoken were villains, but why the Awoken? It's so interesting to see. Uh, I really want Bungie to really think about that. And, and also, Bungie is really thinking about keeping old content to vault and putting new content, but then taking that vault and, and putting uh, uh, a little um, uh, beautiful upgrade to it. It's going to be fun to see how Bungie is going to do, because this is there now. This is theirs. This is not Activision's. There's no Destiny 3. This is them. And I'm really excited to see how all of them are going to work together to make a good experience because I'm starting to love it again. And Destiny, I played when I was a little, uh, when I was playing in 2013 after I graduated uh, high school, and I played it on my Xbox all the time. And I love Destiny, but it was getting old with the, the multiplayer stuff, and I was like not excited for that. And I already got told by some other people that were like, you need gun skills. And I went, oh, okay, well, I, I don't like the community. But then I love how it's changed, it's evolved, and it makes me go, okay, I downloaded it yesterday. I downloaded it yesterday, played this season of Arrival, playing other other Forsaken stuff I, did, I missed or Shadow Keep, And I'm loving it because it's new, it's different, it's evolving. This is the first game that I would say, it's not like Anthem, it's not like, uh, it's like um, World of Warcraft actually, because it's evolving, it is doing expansions, it is keeping uh, their community up, and, it, and it's really awesome to see that community. I wish I could get more into that community. But it is a fun game, and it's a very fun first-person shooter. I love shooting in that game. I love playing the powers of that game. I'm, I'm a hunter. I'm a hunter. My my my. Uh, I'm a hunter, and then I sometimes play warlock. Sometimes, man, this is this is what Bungie needs to do. This is. I love how Bungie is doing this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. This invest. This investment toward toward um. An amazing game. I'm so proud of them. But they've made mistakes. But they are really listening to the community. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to go with this. Um, so so let's talk about this season. Let's talk about this season when I, uh, I, I downloaded Destiny 2. I played uh, a little prologue a little bit. And then it got me into a prelude of uh, knowing what Eris Morn is doing. Uh, figuring out um, who the Witch Queen is. Don't know, really. But uh, there was a little bit of a tease there. There was a prelude. It, it really had this uh, the seed that, that has something to do with a, with a, um, a tr big tree and, and all that stuff. Again, all of this stuff is awesome. This lore, I'm, gonna, I'm excited to read it. I've only played two hours, so I'm really excited to get back into it. The the AI is beautiful. Like they they changed it again. They didn't need to, but they changed it again, and it's so awesome. It's like the maps and the quests are in there, and I'm really excited to I'm excited to do that because I'm 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 that kind of guy. I love seeing all my quests here and all that stuff. So it's so interesting to see how Bungie is going to go and evolve in 2021, 2022. It's really exciting. But let's talk about the next season. So. Season of Arrival just came out today. Uh, it was also detailed, and you have a Dark Omen entering the system, and, and we'll have Guardians searching for answers under the shadow of the mysterious pyramid ship. So there's big these big pyramid ships. Again, I didn't play Shadow Keep. I'm going to now. These pyramid ships are really starting to. It's crazy. It's it's awesome. But those pyramid ships were also teased in Destiny 2's last campaign or or in the campaign so it's interesting to see what those uh those <laughs> those mysterious pyramids i say interesting a lot man um the new season activities begin today so the launch of a new dungeon so this dungeon prophecy beautiful oh my gosh the the map is out of this world I, i'm telling you it looks like control it looks like a cool like 
um, psychedelic looking. It's so beautiful to see that Destiny 2 is kind of evolving in the way of, I don't care about Activision. I care about their, their vision, their vision. It's their vision. And it's so awesome to see their vision is starting to calculate and, and starting to work and it, it coincide and connect to us. It, it's so awesome to see. Uh, so Prophecy will be available for all Destiny 2 players, not just the people with the seasons. By completing Prophecy, Guardians can unlock the new Dato, Foundry, Armor, and Reprise Trials of 9 Armor sets. So this is... We're getting there. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're figuring it out. But, but it's so awesome to see Bungie really get into... Uh, what their event was and they really had um they had more information about playstation 4 and 5 and xbox one and xbox series x uh cr uh it's already be cross-gen but it's going to be cross-generation so uh ps4 if you have all of the ps4 stuff it's going to go into your ps5 for free if you want if you have all of the xbox one it's going to go all to the xbox series x for free this is starting to be interesting because PlayStation hasn't announced anything, but it looks like PlayStation is going to be working on the same thing as smart delivery for um, Xbox. So it's going to be interesting to see smart delivery is Xbox thing. PS5 is probably just going to be like next gen, whatever. Like it, it, it's, it's interesting to see smart delivery has been an issue, like a, a like a like a question mark and so it's interesting to i say interesting a lot man uh it i'm 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 like i'm excited and this is what i'm having is an intensive investigation toward destiny 2 uh a live event that happened yesterday so thanks so much for listening guys uh that is it for the big investigation in gaming um I'm going to have more of this. It's going to be a gaming event investigation where we, we just get into this one event and get into it. And what we're going to be talking about on Thursday is that P PS5 event. So it's going to be awesome to see this. So thank you so much for listening. And uh, please subscribe. Please comment. Please let me know uh, you, you're there. Uh, you're listening. Um I'm really excited to do this and I'm starting to get graphics and I'm starting to get all of this stuff. So it's starting and it's great. So please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching War Table uh, Gaming Podcast. But uh, thank you so much for watching the Gaming Investigation Podcast. I am really excited to start doing more of these. So have a great day and Guardians Unite.